All right, so formations. There's a lot of formations that to choose from, and this is in, um, I think I put it in the uh, accelerated syllabus. I think it's in most of them, but it's definitely in the accelerated syllabus. And it's in the threat uh, guide for Falcon BMS. So these are all the ones you can't use. You can use, we usually use two or three of them. We use trail, line of breast, wedge, and wedge four ship. That's probably about it, and echelon. Um, I try to use route, uh, route close. This is going out to the, like going route, like traveling. So you would be about 500 feet. It's about 0.1 or 0.2 on the, Probably. uh, on the TACAN ish. And then 30 to 40 degrees off on the side. And, and, and I always say to people who's a, who's a wingman. So it, it's a warm and fuzzy when the wing the lead can look to the left and look to the right and see someone there if you're like settled in his blind spot he's not going to see anyone and he gets kind of worried so it's always good to stay that line of sight with your with your lead um so they could see you when he when they look back and forth uh, left and right um yeah line of breast we use a lot uh wedge is good and we'll go over the pros and cons of each um but yeah, this is all the ones that are that are used a lot. So line of breast, everybody's favorite. The line of breast parameters to the are to the right here. So it's four thousand feet to twelve thousand feet. It's like point nine to point uh or not it's like point nine to two point one or two point two for the uh TACAN. So that's about where you need to be, about a zero to twenty degrees off uh off the line. Um, the perfect line of breast is obviously zero degrees, but it's hard to do that a, a, half, a mile and a half away. Um, the 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 good way to do it if you have your pilot um, uh, your pilot in the seat, like the actual models there. If you look to your left or right, you can see the shoulder, and they should be about in line of the shoulder of the model. That's that's a good reference to use in, in there. I haven't got anything on the canopy seal or anything, but that's a good reference for uh, line of breast. And also line of breast, so by default it's level, but the lead can stack up or down uh, 2,000 feet um, or more. But if this is the margin level, so it's about a 4,000 foot margin level, but try to stay as level as you can. So advantages is mutual 6 o'clock cover. So you, so number one could could uh, uh, cover two 6 o'clock, the, the blind spots are right here. So you can you both can see each other's blind spots. The advantages are you're laterally spread. Everybody knows at this point. Pretty sure everyone here. If you're close together holding hands, it's not going to be great because you're both in the same uh, danger. If you're both if you're all spread out, you could, one could be in danger, one could not be in danger. You could do the grinder and actually actually make it a little longer than holding hands in a uh, in fingertip. Uh, adv another advantage is tack turns. So this is the default formation for tack turns so it's it's good to, to do that and while staying in formation some of the diff, diff, disadvantages is that it's difficult to maintain um when you're in the cockpit you need to always uh look to your left or look wherever they are and every so often you need to look to see if they're still there and when you're turning and actually fighting like it doesn't really matter just kind of uh look at your tack and make sure it's not gaining like uh increasing a lot or make sure it's not decreasing a lot either. You're going to hit each other. Um, so just kind of be cognizant of where you are in space. But uh, it is a disadvantage just that it's, it's, it is difficult to maintain. Any questions so far? Or comments or anything? Sweet. So two-ship wedge. This is, uh, this is kind of what people uh, settle into. When you're flying, it kind of just settles into a two-ship wedge. Um, so it's about 3,000 feet, 6,000 feet. Um, 630 to 60 degrees. See, this is still line line of sight of your wingman uh, or your lead, so you can both see each other, or the lead can see you. If you're right here, he's not going to be able to see you. If he's over here, it's going to be a little hard. There's a, there's a canopy bow a little bit behind you, so it's a little hard to see. But right here is a perfect spot, 3,000 feet to 6,000 feet. Advantages. Oh, so wingman may switch size as needed. So this is important. So if if you're in this position, and the lead wants to make a right turn, the 
uh, the wingman could switch to the to the left temporarily until the turn is finished, and then they would come back to the right side and then say saddled again, or or the lead might just assume you came back. Um, if you are going to switch, you could switch if you want. You could say switching sides. Like you don't have to wait for lead to switch you. You could say uh, two switch and you two switching and you just go to the other side. It's like cool. And make sure you say two switching left because sometimes you know the, he's not going to be able to see you. So it's kind of uh, tell the lead which side you're on. But advantage is that it's easy easy to maintain. Lead six o'clock is covered. Free for aggressive maneuvers because you're not laterally, you're not a line of breast. It's a little easier. You could look at your instruments while the lead is in your sight, so you can kind of uh, do both at the same time. The disadvantage is that there's no six o'clock for number two, so there's no six o'clock coverage. So this is a blind spot for just about everybody. So we need to be cognizant of that when you're in a wedge formation. Uh, lead changes are difficult to execute. Uh, doesn't we don't usually change leads but if if uh two wants to be lead like if you're doing a bdm battle damage assessment of panels or something two would have to catch up and get in front you could do some check turns but as a general sense it's it's difficult to uh to execute a lead change and next so fighting wing is basically a wedge but it's a little closer 500 feet and 3,000 feet same angles, basically the same thing, but you're a little closer. Advantages is, oh, it's used in low threat areas, so you're really close together. Um, it's hard to, to um, the closer you are, the, the harder it is to maintain that, that separation and, and, and formation. So it is easy to maintain when straight and level, because you're, you're, you could see your, your lead. You can also do your admin stuff on the screens. You could see back and forth, and you can do everything at once. Again, the lead's 6 o'clock is covered, allows for heads down time, like I said, and it's used in marginal weather conditions. So if you're going into a cloud, and or if there's low visibility, you could see each other because you're only, if you can't see each other, you get closer and closer, but 500 feet away, you should be able to see your wingman. So it could be used to going in clouds or going into ILS or something. Disadvantages, again, no 6 o'clock cover for number 2, and close proximity, so it's difficult to... to uh, maintain while doing uh, aggressive maneuvers. So it's going to be kind of hard to keep that while moving aggressively. Any questions, comments? Sweet. So this is one we don't use very often, but it's kind of neat. Uh, four ship offset box and then a regular box. So this is the offset box. A uh, regular box is just not offset. So you guys could figure that out. Um, Used in low threat arenas, this is kind of a, a perfect for so line of breast for both. So it's like a perfect uh, grinder for line of breast for two elements. So one element could do a shackle or a hook turn or whatever, and then the second element's right behind in line of breast as well. Uh, same thing with line of breast. Six o'clock is covered. Um. Oh, lead. The lead element is in the position to engage. And the element is right behind with the spacing, 1.5 to 3 miles. Usually I'd, I I would do like 5 or 6 miles for distance. Um, if you're going into, like if you're fenced in, about to go into something, you have bandits on your on the, on the picture, you would spread it out a little bit to get a better uh, spread between the elements. This is difficult. Uh, advantage is difficult to visually acquire the whole flight uh, on the receiving end. So it's hard to see... All, all, uh, all four of them. You can, I know you'd see two, but it's kind of hard to see the two in the back. And like I said, the element spacing is built in to the formation. Uh, difficult to, difficult in uh, poor weather or terrain. So it's hard to do this in poor weather terrain because you have to worry about everybody's within a three mile radius of each other. And a uh, second element could be mistaken as a threat if one and two. And we're doing some uh, BFM or something, and something happened. They got a little tumbleweed. They look behind them, they see a dot. So they, they could they could think that it's an enemy and and have that uh, that 15 seconds of panic. That's a, that's a possibility as well. And another thing is um, uh, just just the distance. You're not able to see uh, everybody in the flight um, in a normal formation uh, sense. 
So the four ship fluid four, I might start using this. It's pretty neat. It's like two wedges put together. Or, uh, yeah, two wedges put together. The line of breasts one and three, so they can see each other. And then opposites of each other, four will be on the right and two will be on the left. Uh, line of breast it doesn't really say how the distance here, but I would say probably a mile or so, I would, I would assume. Uh, inexperienced wingmen are kept close for ease of maneuvering. So that's always good to have your wingman close. Uh, four ship maneuverability is good. Uh, NVGs, something, something. Um, it easily converts into a three ship when a, one aircraft falls out, so you can have three here. Uh, some of the disadvantages: uh, adversary can acquire all four aircraft because you're you're nothing. No, you're not behind anyone, so it's it's easier to acquire all of them. Uh, defensive maneuvering procedures, deconfliction challenges due to proximity of aircraft. So you're all really close together, so you're just like in a basically holding hands um, in, in this sense because you're all close together and can't really maneuver anywhere, and everybody's in the same danger. Uh, don't use it in low terrain because it's bad. Here's the spread. This is basically a uh, line of breast, but everybody's line of breast now. So if you're creating a wall, uh, advantages make it make the adversary difficult to acquire everybody. Even though you're not behind anyone, you could be spread 15, 20 miles. So if you're spread 15, 20 miles, you're 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 like you're like uh, trying to make yourself big, and it's hard to to um, target all four people in a spread of 20 miles. Fire pyro is maximized for BVR uh, weapons employment because it, it's it's easier to sort this way, and it's easier easy to peel off and and create a grinder. Like it's it's a it's a pretty really easy way to to initiate the the BVR uh, uh, regime. Because uh, after after the initial shot, this this you, you're not in spread four anymore. So this is a good initial formation once you're going into the to the the flot. Disadvantages: maneuvering is difficult from line abreast. Um, yeah, it would, I would assume that's pretty difficult. But you would just use that initially going into uh, into a BVR engagement. And uh, yeah, don't fly this at low altitude because you're you're looking forward while you're trying to stay in formation, and that's not where you want your eyes to be. Is uh, sideways. You want to be looking looking in front of you. And that's about it. Didn't go over all of them, but a good amount of them. Any questions about any of the formations that we talked about? Oh, and then trail. I think we all know trail. So you just go trail and however many distances. Is. Yeah. And and usually by default, I would I would would everybody assume a trail is like one mile? It's kind of like a default for for trail. In a general sense.